as you may have seen, my latest video has come down off YouTube. I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive. So a couple of days ago, you all saw a video go up. There was basically a video to get the CX's attention. And it did exactly that. So within 18 hours of posting that video, the CX were on the phone to me. Brilliant. And we got to discuss a few issues I've been having and they're actually looking into the uh, complaint that I made in January, on the 25th of January. They're finally looking into that. I had a bit of a chat with them, spoke to Laura. Um, she explained to me that they are a bit short staffed at the minute, but they are recruiting new staff and should have them trained up in the next few weeks. So the phone lines would be answered. Thank you very much for that. And then I spoke to another colleague of theirs who asked if <coughs> for the next few months she could phone me once a month to discuss any ideas or issues I was having with the platform and try and give my feedback, basically. Which I think is a great idea. But I also want your feedback. So when I do speak to them, I can ask your issues and your complaints. If it's anything stupid, I won't ask it. If it's a reasonable question, I will ask it. So please leave them down in the comments below. And as I now know, the CX do watch this channel, so they may answer you themselves. You never know. But uh, if not, I will ask them questions for you next time I speak to them, which will be in about a month's time. So yeah, the video has been taken down. It did what it needed to do. It got the attention of the people it needed to and they politely asked me to take it down and I agreed. So that video has been taken down. Uh, the issues with the driver there in Scotland, they're still ongoing. They are doing a proper investigation into that now and they finally uh, actually heard the voicemail and everything that you all heard anyway. Um, so they are looking into that. And the tip for tap feedback, which I mentioned in another video, uh, they've rectified that. But they actually told me a way that if you do get negative feedback and it is like in response to your feedback, etc., there is a way to get rid of it instantly and put it up for a review with the CX without having to submit a ticket. I can't show you that right now because, well, I'm in the van and you need your desktop. Uh, but there is a way, apparently, to instantly get that removed and put into a review and then the CX can review it and either put it back if it's just or remove it completely if it's unjust <laughs> which is a lot better than having negative feedback sat there for no reason for a, a few days or a week or two or whatever uh, until your tickets seem to um, so yeah that's all really I'm still waiting on what's going to happen with that Scottish driver my uh, negative feedback has finally gone onto his profile. So now he's got two positive and one negative in the last 90 days. Um, and obviously, I feel like I'll probably be hearing from him again soon because payday's around the corner and I'm not paying his invoice because he falsified it and added extra money onto it. So, um, yeah, so that's not happening. So I'm assuming I'm going to hear back from him around that time. I'm actually giving a statement to the police next week about this situation. Um, because they are interested in what's going on, etc. And in case it does go any further, they need to know as much as possible, which it very might well do. It, it, it might do. Um, I, as I mentioned before, my address is on the CX, so it could just turn up at my address, which if he does, then the police will be called and he will be arrested. Simple as really. Um, well, that's all. Apart from this week has been it's been a busy. I feel like I've been running around like a. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. I've just been all over the show, but today I'm actually not doing very much. I've done quite a lot of miles, but for very little money. So I did a small job this morning um, 
for the electrical side of one of my main customers I don't do very much work for and he was actually moving a 23 year old deep fat fryer out of a fast food establishment and taking it to a scrapyard because it was obviously at the end of its life um, and I got there and I was met there for some assistance and we were told it was a disconnected unit and we could wheel it out it wasn't disconnected so not myself but the, the company went and got some tools and disconnected it I was there a little bit longer than I expected to be and I was on a pedestrianised area in Liverpool uh, luckily enough like you can drive on it at certain times and stuff like that so I wasn't in there at the wrong time we dropped it off at the scrapyard I actually went to, over to Stockport to pick up some kit for tomorrow well then plans got changed and I couldn't actually take it because there wasn't going to be anyone there to deliver it to and I couldn't get in the building to just leave it inside and they wanted it secure and it just couldn't, couldn't it wasn't a possible option for tomorrow but tomorrow I do have a side clearance but right now I'm in Newcastle so I actually a few months uh, a few weeks ago bought some office furniture off eBay it's because at the minute I don't have an office every bit of paperwork I've got is just jumbled up and it's in the corner and in the kids playroom it looks a mess and it vexes me every time I see it <laughs> I do have a desk in there but it's it's knackered um, and it's currently just supporting boxes and boxes of paperwork and it's got toys all over the place around it and stuff um, so I'm constantly looking for storage solutions on eBay and I found pretty much a full office setup that was up for auction and was ending soon and it was really cheap and I got it really cheap um, and I've just been to pick it up today from the storage place it was at it was in Newcastle for some reason I didn't pay attention to where it was when I was buying it and I've just picked it up and it is heavy wood furniture it's pretty much in immaculate condition it has been used but very lightly and I've got a desk a pretty much a new looking chair some under desk drawers a little sliding metal cabinet and a massive two meter tall cabinet and it was I, when I when I I purchased it I thought oh I probably bought something crap here or it's all going to be damaged or it's going to be really flimsy and crap and I've just picked it up and it's I am happier with it very happy with it but I'm going to go and drop it off at the storage container until obviously the garage is done I can actually move the stuff in um, but I might actually take some stuff to the storage container and put it in there that I don't need I just need to archive for now <coughs> Get some stuff out of the way and then as i was leaving there i noticed i had a screw in my rear tire so i quickly nipped round to a tire shop down the road just had that repaired added an extra hour onto a day but now i'm on my way back home um when i get home probably quite late drop this off get home see wifey kids will already be in bed unfortunately and then up early tomorrow morning down to Seven Oaks to do a site clearance. And then that should be the week complete. Not got anything on this weekend. Last weekend we had drivers out all weekend and it was pretty busy. So yeah, this entire week's been pretty busy. And I'm very, very glad for that. I've been. I've been speaking to a couple of the electricians and a couple of the um, riggers that one of my main customers uses quite a lot and they, they reckon a few weeks it's going to be busy that's what they're being told anyway I was told this one should have been busy but it's actually been neither up neither, there, neither, up, neither up nor down it's been like steady um, but I'm excited, honestly, for uh, my phone to not stop ringing, emails not stop coming in, and it just to be 
hectic. I can't wait. If what I'm being told is correct, and it's going to be hectic. I can't wait. I really can't. If they've overplayed it and it's just going to be normal and a bit, uh, a bit more than normal, then I'll still be very, very happy with that. Um, and I'm going to have a big push this year as well. Try and get some more customers on the books and just expand the company. See what we can do this year. It's only early. It's Well, it's the 1st of March tomorrow. This year is going quick already, but let's see what we can do this year, eh? Thank you for watching. Please, please, please do like and subscribe. Only 50% of people that watch these videos are actually subscribed. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.